welcome back to Long Dogs and Firewood Logs. Uh, just a little intro there of uh, two trees that went down yesterday. Uh, the first one was the further north tree. Had a pretty significant lean. Uh, ended up not doing a, uh, a plunge cut and cutting the back strap. Just did traditional notch and it went right where we wanted it. The second one, that was another story. <laughs> As I was... Uh, Starting to make my back cut on that one. It was pretty straight. Uh, I needed to put a couple wedges in just to make sure it went in the right direction. Um, because if it went with its natural lean the way the weight was, uh, it was liable to hit a 500 gallon propane tank and uh, some other really healthy oak trees. So we had to be careful with that one. So I'm getting my wedges in and as I start getting a little further into the cut, I noticed there was quite a bit of rot in the center of the tree. And so that's when I knew I had to really be careful. And so we uh, started putting in the wedges and pounding them out. And uh, that was a little bit of a surprise when that one came down. I thought I had a few more bangs on the wedges before it, uh, it was gonna move, but obviously not. This is the northmost tree uh, with the lean going toward the north. Uh, traditional cut, um, just uh, scribing around the back edge after I've already knocked out the, uh, the watermelon for the notch.
This is the northmost tree uh, with the lean going toward the north. Uh, traditional cut. Um, just uh, scribing around the back edge after I've already knocked out the, uh, the watermelon for the match. Once I start making the back cut, I uh, had wanted to get some wedges in to try to push it over on top of that first tree or up in that direction. Um, but as I started making that back cut, getting the wedges in, I could tell there was there was a lot of rot going on, and I uh, could feel how how soft the center of the tree was. I could see the uh, dark rotten wood. Uh, coming out uh, with the chips of good wood and so I knew at that point I need to be extra cautious and uh, ready to ready to escape at any moment. As I walk away, I try to keep my hand on the tree a little bit in case it was moving while I was looking for uh, for the axe. Uh, plan was to pound in some more wedge and uh, thought I'd have to really bang the tree uh, pretty hard uh, with all the wedges I had with me to uh, get it to go in the right direction. But suddenly that changed. Um, one of the pillars gave way because I only had two pillars, uh, one on the east side, one on the west side and the one on the east gave way so uh, the tree gave a little bit of a, a turn as it came down and uh, then we saw the extent of the rot Oak. It's almost vertical. 